Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Maggie and I appreciate you taking this time to hang out as we are working through a slow crawl of the magic of everyday life by Maria Zepes. And it's just been a wonderful book to help us have some pearls, tools, different things to help us along the way in our path. If it's not helpful to us, there are tools and pearls and things that we could use to help others. Because there is literally not one way, but millions of ways to skin a cat. And if anything the universe has taught us, there's more than one reality. Sometimes when you're trying to reach somebody, you have to permeate through multiple realities to reach them and help them come forward to heal. So we are doing the Magic of Everyday Life by Maria Zepes. We are now in chapter 17. When you do get a chance, I appreciate you hit like, subscribe, and leave your positive comments. All right, so we're gonna get into this. Um, chapter 17 is self-confidence. Okay, here we go. Self-confidence is one of those mysterious characteristics human beings have that we recognize for the most part only through its symptoms and manifestations. So think about it, you know, light bulb. Think about it for a moment. When you're in a room and somebody walks in with confidence, you can definitely feel the shift. Um, as a nurse or as a provider, a medical provider, nurse practitioner, doctor, or even like a lawyer, any kind of professional, uh, people are going to gravitate towards that person that makes them feel that kind of confidence because it's a very centering, calming feeling. Okay, here we go. So picture yourself in a confident role. So we understand its essence far less, however, accepting it as an elemental fact, a fortunate quality independent of our direction. We think someone either has self-confidence or does not. If they have it, it obviously helps them to make their way in life. If they don't, they are an unfortunate dunderhead whom their most able qualities always abandon them at the decisive moment. So here again, I wanna just say, we talk about spectrum here, right? So let's say you're on a spectrum where you're not confident. Let me tell you, hang in there with me. We're gonna keep working the tools. You can move towards confidence, okay? It's, it's up to us, it's our choice. So if you are not feeling confident, don't worry. If you do the work, the work's gonna do you and confidence will be there. If you are very confident, this is going to help you to increase your confidence in that process, increasing the field, helping. So if you're the higher vibrating confident glass, lower vibrating confident glasses have a chance to rise up into that field because you are holding the frequency. So there's just, thank God for our community because all of us are working to upgrade humanity, bring our acts of service, and to just live full out. So it's a beautiful thing. Okay, here we go. Without doubt, knowledge and self-confidence are not always in direct proportion to each other. And the self-confident person, although perhaps unrealistically conceited, still achieves far greater results than the more valuable individual who is struggling with low self-esteem. Okay, let's read that one more time. So without doubt, knowledge and self-confidence are not always in direct proportion to each other, right? So somebody can be very, very competent. I can be very, very competent nurse and have no idea how to cath you. I can be a very, very competent nurse and have no idea how to properly give you a vaccination or start an IV and that can cause harm. Okay, so confidence always doesn't always equal knowledge, right? Okay, then also perhaps unrealistic, conceited, still achieves far greater results than the more valuable person, individual who's struggling with low self-esteem. So they are saying this person can act conceited, can they can go on to a construction site or something and be like X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z, and they don't know what they're doing. Uh, we see, we can see this sometimes when you have for instance, in the military, you have the enlisted is the backbone of the military and you have the officers and sometimes the enlisted, many times, that backbone knows where the head needs to be turning. And a lot of times our higher leadership 
Our officers need to listen and most importantly work as a team. You can see that also like in nursing where you might have an inexperienced head nurse and you have these really seasoned nurses on the floor who know more about the patients and the internal operations of a system. So you want to make sure that you don't want to have this idea like I know it all, I know it all and you're not utilizing the full gamut of your personnel to their highest. And somebody in the corner who may be struggling with confidence, that person actually has the answers, knows how to correctly straight cath you, knows how to correctly start your OV, knows how to correctly give that vaccination. You know, we got to take in consider it. Confidence, conceitedness does not always equal knowledge. Okay, so we have experience in almost every instant that when someone undertakes something they know little about, if they have confidence in themselves, they can accomplish the work acceptably. Whereas, despite the most thorough preparation, when a person does not trust what they are doing, disturbances may occur. So that's basically what we just talked about again. This person walks out in a confident foot, chances are, I mean, praying this is not life and death, but they're gonna be able to do the task somewhat acceptably. But a person could actually know what they're doing, have issues with confidence, and it just looks like they're a fumbling you know, fool. So confidence is key, knowledge is also key too. So it is evident from our explorations so far that confidence is essentially a magical, creative, positive current of human individuality. So did you get that? Confidence is a magical, creative, positive current. It is a current of human individuality. And again, I'm gonna revert you back to that uh, thought, that example I gave, when a prop confident person walks into the room, you feel it. You're like, I wanna know them. I, I, I wanna learn from them. You know, I, I want to know what this nurse knows. I want to learn from this doctor. I want to be a part of this team. I want to know this, you know, construction worker. I want to know this site manager. I want to know this chef. You know, I want to know because I can learn a lot. It's, and it's a current. So anybody ever been caught in the ocean in a current out? Who that thing will pull you out quick, right? All right. So it lacks points to a circulatory disturbance of forces. The instinctive elemental nature of its function came about as a result of the split in our conscious and our unconscious world and is waiting for rescue operations from this psychological accident for the two areas to be reconnected. So let's read that again. It lacks points in a circulatory disturbance of forces. So if you're confident in not able to or not confident you're not able to bring this forward i think the instinctual elemental nature of its function came about as a result of the split of our conscious and unconscious world and is waiting for rescue operations from the psychological accident for the two areas to be reconnected this accident caused anomalies in us similar to various parts of a city under siege that are cutting that are cut off from one another and the service providers for gas waterworks electricity utility telephone and radio centers are all op operating in quarters hostile to each other with no possibility for cooperation we witnessed this with covid there was just so much coming down the pike and so many people being isolated and then so many businesses being shut down. This is pretty much like a description of what we've been going through. So, you know, never fear, continue forward. The greater portion of our transcendent abilities have been relegated, unfortunately, to such hostile territory. The impulses and forces that reach us are not under our control and for this reason, intermittent, improvised, and unpredictable, which again is what we've been seeing. Everything's been changing in the world. Our goal, therefore, the benefit of the whole, is to draw under central direction in every detail and to its greater potential, this structure that came into being. So this is going to be sort of 
if you're going through difficult things in your life or you got knocked for a turn with COVID, again, this, this book is just life skills, things to help upgrade your life, things to help you in any area of your life. So it's interesting because we have just been working through so many things, job changes, health issues, uh, family changes, uh, the loss of loved ones, and et cetera, et cetera. So we're gonna be getting into this next part, which is gonna, again, bring us some tools. All right, so I thank you so much for joining me today on reading readings from chapter 17, and I hope you're having a great day. I know you are. When you do get a chance, please hit like and subscribe and leave your positive comments. I so look forward to this time with you and I appreciate you. And you know what comes next. Well, <laughs> peace in, peace out.